Back again with another 4Runner video. This is my third gen 4Runner SR5 V6 four wheel drive. And I'm finally doing the thing I've been wanting to do for quite some time since I got this thing, and that is changing the grill out. I want to show you guys packaging because I know some people are interested in how companies package things. This was pretty decent. Um, there was no actual, I opened it to take a look at it real quick, but it comes in this kind of like bubble wrap bag. Um, it's not bad. I wish there was just a little more padding to protect it because you know how those delivery people can sometimes be. Uh, but we did get the grill and I'm super happy this is the one I ended up going with instead of the other one. Uh, this was taped up. When I got it, I undid the tape beforehand. But it's basically a TRD style grill. It's ABS plastic. Honestly, overall, I have no complaints. If you've watched the channel and you've seen my 9 Gen Accord, the grill on there I bought off of eBay for about the same price. And <laughs> that one's horrible. I would never recommend spending money. But just from the quality feel alone, um, it feels good. I have zero complaints at the moment. Of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated make sure nothing goes bad, but um, so far it feels good. Now, yes, of course, the Toyota sign is not here. Uh, they did provide it, you just have to install it yourself. The only thing I did notice when I originally was, this is loose, I mean, it's held in by screws, so you can screw it down, but it is loose. And as you can see, the paint here isn't finished like it is on the other one. Um, you do, there are screws that need to go here. I'll have to see if those are provided. Um, and of course we're gonna be installing LED lights uh, right in about this area, I believe, somewhere around here. So the orange LED lights. But overall, that looks good. Actually, it would be like this and the LED lights are gonna be I think one here, one here, one here, something like that. There is this additional piece. Um, I'm not, I mean, it's a lip. I'm not 100% sure where it actually goes. It looks like it goes like this with the curvature of the grill, but I'm confused on where exactly it goes. There is this bottom part here, but there isn't anything you can hook it on unless you replace this bottom part. Here are the orange lights, just like uh, they are LED, just like the, I guess you can say TRD or Raptor style. You do get the wiring loom that you're gonna splice in just a negative and a positive. Some, uh, Screws for the lights, I think, or maybe not. The lights look like they're clips, so this actually might be the screws I'm missing here. This is where the actual uh, Toyota sign is. So there's the Toyota sign. You do get the screws here, and it feels really good. It's got a little cover on it as you can see now you're wondering to yourself oh why wasn't that installed oh I like that a little gray it's not just black it's like a gunmetal gray I like that that's very good now you're wondering like why isn't this already installed and stuff like that and I think that has to do with legal stuff I think legally companies are not allowed to sell other manufacturer uh, branding and then having the Toyota symbol would be Toyota's branding Let's go ahead and start installing this. It looks like this is pretty simple. It just goes right here. There's one, two, three, four screws. It actually has grooves where the uh, where these bars or fins or whatever you want to call them go put, fit right in, and it's a very good fit. No complaints here. Now it has 
two sets of screws. It has four chrome ones or four black ones. I think it's just giving you an option, which is fantastic. I'm gonna go with the black. Make sure, of course, to put it on correctly because you don't wanna have to do anything twice. But since I know this slant goes downwards, this is the bottom and this is the top, so that is correct. Let me finish. Oh, I, I can see, yep. Yeah. I can see why they stopped screwing it because it definitely sounded like it snapped. Okay, so that's not ideal. This one actually went in and is now tight. I'm worried that if I do that with this one, it might break. Okay. All right, I can see why they stopped because I'm assuming whoever did it would thought it was gonna break. Um, however, that's not ideal. You definitely wanna make sure that the company is positive in the quality and if it's gonna break. And if it is gonna break or they're worried about it, they shouldn't send that out. But that's a slight, slight concern compared to the overall product so far. I will, of course, uh, I am actually in communication with the company. Um, I did purchase this, but I am communicating with them. So I will let them know that that's something that needs to be observed and for proper quality control. Let me give one more screw here. These seem to fit really good. I don't want to over tighten it because we are screwing into plastic, but that seems to be really good. And now you can see it in its full effect. Oh yeah, I really, really like that. That's really great. These are the additional screws. One, two, so there's six. There's a little bit more than six here. Some of them are longer and some of them are shorter, which makes sense because these definitely look like they need longer ones compared to the ends here. I will say this, I just saw this happen, but this plastic just cracked. I think this one did too, which is obviously not a good Good sign of things. And that one just cracked too. Yeah, this is not ideal. Uh, I would definitely talk in with the company about this. That one's, that one did better. I am using the shorter one, but once again, that's because it only needs the shorter one. All right, so those are in. And that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, overall, it's, it's good. It's just a little disappointing that some of those tabs were snapping, but like I said, we'll, we'll get that looked at. Now these look like they just go in here and they literally just will clamp in utilizing this clamp system here um, I think you can decide how you want it so you can have it right next to each other or you can have them one spaced out I feel like I, well obviously we know we want the center And that's good, yeah, that fits really good. So obviously we want the center there. Now, of course, you can put them right next to each other, 
but I think the norm is spacing every other one. So obviously you go to the center first, and we're gonna do one here and one here. using the screwdriver just to push these tabs just the slightest bit in there to make sure they don't by any chance snap because I'm putting too much force trying to force it in. So by doing this, now obviously um, trim tools, um, a flat head would probably be most ideal, but this one work fine. All right, those are in. And honestly, so far, extremely happy with it. Now the grill, just like the one we got, has these has these basically tabs that they clip into. Now, I'm lucky because mine did snap at some point. So I'm hoping I can get this easily released out of here. So it doesn't do it on that one, like you see here. This is the one that snapped. Oh, and this one down here, that's right. So let's see if we can get these out. These I am gonna be using a flathead, looks like there's a... So just this tab goes pushed down, this one's disconnected. This has a tab that I'm gonna be Trying to push down without it snapping, which is what the last one did. All right. This. Ah, oh, there we go. Looks like this wasn't really holding anything in, but that's out and ready for the new one. Now before I put this in, I'm gonna go ahead and connect wiring harness just because once the grill's in, it's gonna be a little annoying to try to plug these in. Um, like I said, it's just a black and red. I'm gonna route it behind here. There's a small hole that I showed last time mm -hmm. by the driver's side. Mm -hmm headlight, there's a small hole right here. And I'm just gonna grab the wires through there. It's only one way, the ta this tab goes in here. Just wanna make sure they're all Okay, and as you can see, the fitment is actually pretty good. Now, the only problem is, is I have to now find these clips so the grill gets held in and doesn't decide to come off during the drive. I do wish that the company provided that uh, because that's gonna be something probably difficult to find, as I mentioned, so. I will have to, I think this is the only one that actually is in there. And it does look like, yes, that one is the only one that's in there. All these other ones are. Now, could I do it in a different fashion where we use zip ties? I can, and that's what we're gonna do for now. And then we'll come back and see if I can find the clips. But I'm gonna zip tie this one here. I'm just gonna loop it through here, hold it against that, loop it through here. And that should be good for now. With those two zip ties, I think that'll be plenty until I'm able to find something that can properly hold it in.
I mean, in all reality, we all know zip ties fix everything, so this is as good as it's gonna get, right? It might stay like this for quite some time because, hey, at the end of the day, if it's being held in, it's all that matters. That's, that's fairly in there. The only two tabs that were missing, obviously the two center ones and this one here, but it's pretty decently in there. The gap is slightly there, but I think it was from the pre from the stop one too. I'll have to double check, but that is in there. All right, let's get into the wiring part. For the wiring, I'm gonna do fairly, fairly simple. First of all, most of the wiring is just gonna sit down in here, just like all the other lighting. The negative I might put here, or I might actually put do it directly to the terminal. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and just connect it to the terminal. I am gonna get like a crimper on, like one of these where it has the loop where you can fit it over a bolt uh, type of deal where it has a hole and you can put it. So I might, I'm gonna get one of those later, but right now I don't have one. Um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna connect this. As mentioned, I'm going to do the negative to the negative terminal, but the positive I'm going to do to the corner light. So when I switch the corner light, those come on. And then obviously when I go full lights, those will still remain to be on. However, to tap into the positive for the corner light, I'm going to use these T taps. Uh, I really like them. They make life a lot easier. No splicing necessary. You just connect one part to the positive wire on the corner light or anything you're doing the positive and then you just use a regular uh like butt connector and you put that on the wire you're trying to splice into that positive and uh and it just connects right to it i'll show you guys how that works but these are my favorite if you watched my video on how to swap out the bulbs on the corner lights and the corner lights themselves you would have seen how i've how i took these off just a single screw here, it's a flex head, or it's a Phillips, Jesus, flex head, what? It's a Phillips screw, take it off, you can pry it off since these are aftermarket, they're a little, um, they're a little easier to take off, they're not as embedded in there. Uh, there's two wires here, there is a uh, green, looks like just a green and a black white, uh, usually black white is the negative or the ground and the green in this situation would be the positive normally now there is ways to check this with a meter however I'm bad at that stuff <laughs> so I'm just gonna assume that I'm right and kind of go with it uh, not necessarily smart but it is what it is. That's what I'm going with. Um, you can just simply route it through this hole right here on the side that comes through the engine bay. Plenty of wire here to do so. And then I'm debating on cutting this shielding a little back so I don't get it right at the connector. I think I'm going to do that. For the T-clamp portion, or the T-tap, essentially it's a, you close it together on top of the wire there, on the one you're gonna be splicing into, and essentially it just cuts the rubber or the um, housing or whatever, and essentially makes contact with the wire through this here. You close this on top to provide that pressure to do so, and then once that's done, like I said, you just use the regular connector to go in there. This in between. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to be something like, yeah, because I want that facing. Just getting a little away from the main connector. And just 
You might have to use pliers to get a good squeeze. I'm gonna go ahead and get some. Just using some needle nose here. There we go. Yep, so that's now on the green wire right now. And that should have a connection. As for this wire, just gonna take off this pre-cut cover. I like to, because it's so thin, I like to fold it over to give me a little bit more of a thickness. My favorite crimping tool, I'll link it in the description. I love this thing, makes crimping so much easier. Is that, is that, am I using that term right, crimping? But basically you just, it has a blue marker here, you know which size to put it on. And then it just makes the, makes the squeezing part a lot easier than any other crimper that I've used that feels solid. Now I'm just gonna go here. And that should be now connected. I will put some tape over that. But I am curious to see if these lights come on. Oh, that's not good. But it works the way I wired it. That's good. Let's see if switching wires. I wonder if it's a wire thing or if it's a actual LED problem. It's the LED. That's unfortunate. Yep, so those two work, but the right LED does not. I'm sure the company will fix that and send me a new one, but that's too bad. But it looks nice. I really like it. So now I, let's say I wanna run those, I can just run the corner lights with those and everything's good. But I'm glad that worked. The T-tap always, always works for me. I usually don't have issues with Harbor Freight, but I bought this multi-pack of uh, Stick Tech, the original Stick Tech. Um, what is it called? Electrical tape? That's the word. Jesus, I almost forgot. And, um, well, all I can say is that it didn't really tape. And that was, uh, that was annoying. But it looks like here, it is gonna work, which is fantastic. Man, I am excited about that. I am a little disappointed about this, but uh, it'll get sorted. Now let's take a final look at, I know that's unfortunate. It's going to annoy me too to see it uh, like that for a little while. But overall, I mean, the zip ties are working, which is fantastic. I mean, it's staying in there. So I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll work on finding some actual clip tabs. But honestly, if the zip ties are working, I don't know if you agree with me. If zip ties are working, should I even change it? Should I even try to find the clips? You let me know in the comments. Figured out that extra lip is basically to change this. If you don't want this to stick out as much, you can swap this out and put the smaller lip on to fit more like the uh, OE style. Y'all see this fire? Y'all see this fire? <laughs> so it's about a week later, almost a week, 
they sent out a new light and they didn't want to let me, they wanted me to tell you guys that if you have any defects with your product to any grill you have from them if it's the lights if it's the material of the grill to give them a call or send them an email and they'll take care of you because that's their number one thing is to focus on customer service and honestly to me that makes the brand if they're it doesn't matter if their product is amazing if something goes wrong and they're not willing to help you th their product is irrelevant but a company that does that might have defects or whatever and is willing to help you and take care of you that's the company to go with so i would highly definitely recommend and like i mentioned before i paid for this they didn't give me this for free so there's no reason for me to tell them say this but that's truly how i feel if a company is willing to take care of you and take care of any defects that might come along the way that's the company to go with i'm super happy with this and stay tuned for more videos